I, I start to embrace myself, be myself all the time, to believe in your ears, in your eyes, in what you're saying, what you're doing. That's the key. I touch on the idea of empowerment. I think there's a lot of potential, you know, just in ways of expressing yourself. I think there is a huge, huge misconception that the fashion industry is mostly ruled by women. It's just like about giving females more opportunities to be around this industry and like respecting them and appreciating their like work and even like the culture they come from. It's not that female creatives don't exist, they do, but art scene enough. I'm a 3D artist and art director from the Philippines and Liechtenstein. My work encompasses a lot of different disciplines, um, so I do a lot of like VFX work, um, 3D visualization, digital fashion as well. I think it's just something so empowering of being able to decide how you're portrayed. I touch on the idea of empowerment because in a sense like what fuels yourself. It's like a modern selfie, I want to say. That project was kind of a start of my interest for um, self-representation. Given the power of digital, you can be anywhere you want. Okay. Like digital fabrication is so interesting to me and it's such a big power. You can do something that's unreal and that is like the true power of the digital or anything that's illustrated or fabricated. And I think that's a huge point in digital fashion as well. Hi, my name is Alina Spas. I'm a knitwear designer. Hey, my name is Ella Kostake. I'm a photographer and creative director from Bucharest, Romania. Initially it started with crochet and then it went into knitting. And I had one project which kind of really helped me grow in a sense. Um, one brand we reposted my work, which is a platform that supports young creatives. Since then, I started working with a lot of super experienced creative teams around the world for fashion editorials. Um, I was featured in Vogue Italia. But I think this is probably one of my proudest moments. Um, it was an editorial for Vivian Westwood and the next generation of emerging designers. Um, and I was featured amongst a few other absolutely amazing designers. As much as I say, you know, you need to believe in yourself, it does help sometimes to get that tiny bit of validation um, from outside. I wouldn't say necessarily I create for other people or to influence other people. Uh, when it comes to my creative process, it's all about me as a person and as an artist and trying to understand myself. Hair means something very personal and obviously intimate to me. It's part of my body, it's part of me. I've been through a lot to accept my hair as it is, so it's just about the journey I've had. I think there is a huge, huge misconception that the fashion industry is mostly ruled by women. If you look at Caring, if you look at LVMH, how many female creative directors do you actually see? You know, women are seen as something very, very, very disposable in the fashion industry, even though even though a lot of the things are made theoretically for them. So it's kind of like, you know, you take advantage of the feminine aspect, but you're not actually celebrating it. I think it's just like about giving females more opportunities to be around this industry and like respecting them and appreciating their like work and even like the culture they come from. Hi, I'm Marisol, I'm a musician and I'm a singer and I play the guitar. I started like one year ago with my band, We Are Love Nova. And we're like a feminist uh, girl band. And we do like punk and rock. We also talk about politics, all these things that people maybe are not able to speak out loud or they are not like they're ashamed.
try to show people all the power with our music because we do very powerful genre. We just played this summer at the Reading Festival, which makes me very proud. These girls like encourage me to play live. In general, like my main goal with Love Lola, it's just like prove to people that female artists are as good as any other artists. I come from from Mallorca, which is like this very tiny island. I was kind of like struggling to be myself like fully i wanted to like develop myself as an artist i moved here in london because you know it's a big city lots of opportunities and that's how everything started i, I start to embrace myself be myself all the time to believe in your ears in your eyes in what you're saying what you're doing that's the key 